The mega three day storm is over and I couldn't be happier. We have a huge monumental cleanup to do here in the block all around the building. It pulled all sorts of debris away from the fence, put it all over the place. But more importantly, today's the day we're gonna get some serviceable lifts put in. Yeah, we can actually start working on cars soon. Yeah, I'm really pumped for that. So we've been waiting for this. Ben Pack's got a team coming. We're gonna install some Ben Pack lifts, the two post serviceable lifts. We're also gonna have some four post lifts and they're bringing a whole bunch of tables and fans and stuff like that because hey this is LA it gets really hot in the summer yeah I mean it's it's really cold right now it is cold right now fast, it sure. will change we have an oil slick back here we're gonna need to get the pressure washer up and running all sorts of stuff from the neighboring businesses and it's dragged because this is the low spot look you can see here that is all over this concrete and it typically looks like this where you can see tire marks but see this really dark gooey black piece right here in the center that's all oil and stuff we're gonna want to push all of that down the drain yeah baby look at that you can see how dirty this is we're gonna have to pressure wash all of this and get it all clean my pressure washing just got put on hold whole crew from ben packer here we ordered a lot of stuff boom dude the order has arrived all right let's see what we got we're gonna have like a whole bunch of tables equipment lifts excited yeah it's gonna be good man like <laughs> We're gonna have cars on the lift, cars think about, on the racks. Think about this. We can put all the broken cars up on the wall. We're gonna need more lifts. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need more lifts. We should have a wall that just says, hold on. We'll get to you. Coming soon. <laughs> well, this is cool. We got these all set up. Right now we're looking at the four post lift spots. So Will they fit all in there? They'll all fit there. So we're talking about leaving a gap against that wall okay. and against the back wall. So there's walkway all the way around. That makes sense. Cause uh, we do have some important wires back there. And we have obviously network stuff in the corner. Exactly, in the electrical boxes and all that. And then at the old shop, we had the lifts butted up against the wall. You put a car at the end of the lift, the nose still hangs off, yeah. and the bumper is basically against the wall. The 599, Tim uh, Boo Boo, the back Oh bumper. yeah, Tim yeah. straight up the bumper on the 599. Yeah, fair enough. These are the two two-post lifts, the 10AP-68. Hoping that we can get these installed in here. The issue with these lifts right now, we really wanted the 10AP. We want the regular 10 AP and we got the dash 68, yeah. 168. The 168 means they're 168 inches tall. The issue is we have these lights. Those lights are like 158 call it. They're like 10 inches lower. Mike figures because they're on conduit and a chain, we could probably get the electrician to either just raise them up or remove them. And then we can just keep the lights on this side. Yeah, you can always put different lights in later. Of anyway. course. Wow, they're already at full swing in here. <laughs> oh, look at oh, these yeah, guys it's, go. It's a you guys are banging it out. Oh, These fit perfectly here in this corner too. Like where they position them, we've got the walkway all the way around the back. Yeah. And then when we do have the ramps on there, yeah. it's still not gonna come out past the wall. So yeah, I feel like that's a perfect spot. Damn. Huge shout out to Ben Pack. You guys need some lifts, pick them up from Ben Pack. They have all sorts of shop equipment. They are the guys to go to, link in description. That's it right there. Boom. They're gonna put two four posts in and two two posts in today, but we will eventually have two more. So there'll be four four posts and three of the two posts in the other room for serviceable lifts. They're gonna look really good in here. So we gotta get this all set up today as well for the boys. Oh yeah. Drying it out now. That storm was no joke. Flooded little parts of the corners of our building. It was a disaster. This water this last couple of days. Yeah, it was crazy. Crazy. They shut our entire street down over here, two blocks away. The actual sewage backed right up onto the road because there's so much water. Ooh. So as you guys can see, we have the cars parked in what is what we call the third room from the front of the shop. We're trying to figure out what we want to do with this room. Very different from the rest of the rooms where the roof is black and the walls are gray. And this room's got a yellow kind of feature wall and it's got this interesting baby blue ceiling almost like you know blue sky yellow sun effect to it now we're not sure what we want to do in here we do have a whole bunch of these studs sticking out of the ground that had shelving in here we're gonna have to cut these down I think we're not gonna put any shelving in here as far as I know we're gonna make this the front facing store so when you guys come to visit when we have this built out and you come here the idea is that this is where we'd have some sort of a theme going on whether it be a gas station whether it be a paddock whether it be something of that nature. We want to build this out so when you come
come in, you guys are wowed. You're like, holy this place is really epic. You know, you can walk around. We're gonna have a store here for all of our merch. Then we wanna have it so you can see some of the cars. Some of the cars that will be on display, we would use either this first room that's here or we would just do something cool in here like maybe crazy cars, who knows, but then have the cars where they're currently positioned in this room. We're working on everything and as it progresses, we'll keep you guys in the loop. Now, behind this wall, funny enough, takes us into our offices. Now, our offices here, we have Mike's office. Oh, look at that, he's already on the computer again. Working. He's quick. We have my office, which is a complete, like a bomb went off in here because, well, I was here all weekend dealing with the flooding and the rain and I've done like 20 outfit changes, not because I'm a big fashionista, but because I was very, very wet. Right, Sean? Yep. This place is getting cleaned up. The boys are organizing everything, just pushing everything out, cleaning up the ground. We do need to get some type of a janitorial service because 30,000 square feet, I don't intend to have the guys vacuuming and, and mopping every single day to keep this place clean. We'll just get someone in here to clean it once a week. We have Mark's office with all of our gear. <laughs> Mark's still curb destroyed TE 37s. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the whole entire parking lot, but this is one gate on the left side of the building. The other gate's obviously on the right side. I'm gonna walk you guys through real quick just how much space we have back here. And we have a little bit more cleanup to do, especially on this side. We have stuff that's blown all over our back lot from that storm, both from the wind, but also the rain. It just carries everything. This was like a full on river. We were pumping all the water out to the front of the street because it had the best drainage. But look at the size of this lot. It is massive. And there is just tons of little bits of debris, metal shards, screws, all sorts of things that you do not want in your tires or wheels of your exotic car. A few little puddles left, but I'm sure the sun in the next day or two will dry that up. Look at this. The block, for the most part, is pretty dry. Now it just needs a bit of a clean with some brooms. We're gonna get an asphalt person in here to fix all these massive holes and things that are gonna obviously hurt the cars. And then we have this entire side of the lot that runs all the way down. There is a lot of space here, which is exactly why we got it. It's perfect for all the shenanigans and things that we want to accomplish. Hell yeah. Those look awesome, guys. Just getting those cables thrown in there now. Some heavy duty ass cables. Hell yeah. Power unit. Let's go and check on the two post lifts. We had to get the electrician to hopefully move those lights further up or just remove them all together. How are we doing? Do we think they're gonna fit? Yeah, they're gonna fit. They'll, they'll fit now that we cut the lights out? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So 175 is what we got with the lowest clearance there. Now that we've chopped the lights out, we had lights sitting right there and now they're all moved out. Bang. Let's get these bad boys thrown in. We need some service lifts, man. Without these, my guys are standing around. When they stand around, it just costs daddy a lot of money. Where are you guys going? We're going to Harbor Freight. Dude, my credit card can't handle you anymore. <laughs> Harbor Freight. I gotta start taking it out of him's salary. Wait, where's Mark? Mark's not even here. Mark went to court this morning. Yeah, good Did sign you know? or bad sign? Uh, jail. Mark, Mark's not in Mark's jail. In jail. <laughs> Dude, uh, Mark got a little speeding ticket last year, yeah. and he's currently dealing with it with his attorney. Attorney. Mark's in trouble. Rich. Mark's in got trouble. No public defender like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Good news. What's up? We had the lights removed. Yeah. And we have enough room to put the lifts in. Yes. <laughs> so the lights have been removed. They are putting the lifts in right now. Four post lifts, putting all the lines in for the air and stuff. Yeah. They'll be banged out in no time. Nice. Oh yeah. So we're gonna need to put some cars on those two posts. What do you want to do first? Prioritize any of these? We need a clutch for Dave's car. And my uh, car. And your car. And power steering pumps for both. And we need to see how crispy my car is. Yeah. Have you looked under it? No. You wanna look? Do I want to? <laughs> Come on, let's go check it out. Just just let's have a peek in there for a second. I would like to know your professional opinion. How bad did I fry the 599? Looking good? Yeah, yeah. Those... I think four of those along the wall are gonna look awesome. Yeah. So here she is, the victim. I think it's not that bad. But then again, I don't know. I wonder, can you guess where the fire was? Uh, I'm gonna give yeah. you one hint where the uh, fire extinguisher stuff is. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, let's just replay the clip of the car on fire. Something's still smoking. Something's still smoking. All the bullets shot out. Oh, shut it off, shut it off. Shut it off, shut it off. Off the hood, off the hood. Oh, fire, 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 fire. Oh, it's on fire. Uh, Mike's gone, by the way, so 
Oh, this is why this is happening. Right down there in that corner. So yeah, we got there. some uh, we got some toasted wires over there. They're not completely fried. Yeah, the car turns on. It was in a gear. What happened first? Was there a fire and that melted a coolant line? Was there a fire and it just happened to pop a coolant line at the same time? Kind of weird. I don't know why things always happen when you leave, but you should probably maybe just stick around a lot more. I'd break less stuff. <laughs> less bad things would happen. Using our infamous forklift. <laughs> I got the lugs. Pull Coming. the rub. Pull Coming. the rub. It's I have, a... have to massage Mike to get everything I need in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and my wife. Let's just clarify that. <laughs> Mike doesn't do everything. <laughs> Look who arrived. Hey, hey, you're back. You're back. You're back. Oh, yeah. Good to see you. Dude. Good to see you. You. Other than chill? I like how you showed up after the storm, hey? I know. Hey. Now it's drying out. He's like, hey, how's it going? He doesn't know. How's the weather? The sh storm we've been through. And literally. The sh storm. Two blocks away, get backed up onto the street. And guess what? They're telling people they can't go to the beach for three weeks because the sh ran out onto the beaches here. Sewage spills. The city, the city called me today about that, and there's a problem. All the sewer is all ruined. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, that's not good. Yeah. Oh, can't wait to hear this news. They're gonna come here on the 26th and start tearing up some of those pipes in that corner. Block off some part of the block. Yeah. <laughs> and replace it. Because it's not draining because of that issue. That drain issue is connected to the sewer issue here. That's what I thought it was. Damn. It's all the same yeah. thing, which will solve that problem. A bunch of stuff happened while you were gone. Hey, bought a new car, looks like. That happened. <laughs> I'll bring up the speed on that in a second. What's cool is that's good. back. It's good. Oh, shit. You haven't seen that car since we were on Gumball. Here's some really cool stuff. Stuff. That's back, and the 12800 US dollars we paid to have it fixed, didn't fix it. It broke down on me after driving out for three hours in the middle of nowhere when we went for a drive, Mark and I, and it kept doing the exact same thing. You haven't seen this. Michael S's very first supercar. What is this? AMG GT. Blown engine. Perfect. Blown taillights. Dude, look at the, look at the taillights. What the hell happened? It sat in the California sun for three years with no cover on it. So my buddy who has the AMG, the C63, that's at my shop, the Time Attack car. Yeah. He absolutely destroyed the car. Like, he really <laughs> yeah. does not give a f Is it right? clean like, when he got it? He did all the damage he to it? He bought it brand, brand new. Brand new. The first day he bought it, he took it to the track. It went off the track at Willow at turn nine at 100 miles an hour. Ripped a bunch of stuff off the bottom of the car. Destroyed some lines. I think he broke the transmission. He said he drove it home. He had to stop every like few miles, 15 or 20 miles, and put water in it. But he's like, yeah, and then I drove it home, and then I parked it in my garage. The whole car is destroyed. Look at this thing. But cool. it is Michael Essa, the champ, and he thinks that he can revive it. This is very well going to be a project car. Look under the hood. It's a beauty. Look at that. It'll don't scratch it. Yeah, yeah. No, don't, watch, don't, watch don't scratch watch it, Mike. Look over there, there were some rats. I saw that. Yeah. It flooded the whole block, and then the water seeped in through the doors here and came through the backside of that wall and flooded this entire corner. So the boys and Mike and I, we pulled all this stuff away from the wall, and then we had our heater drying it out. But if you come this side, look at this side. Some water damage in that corner, and then we also had some water damage in here. And this is where the water actually came in from. So there's leaks in about six places in the roof. So all of this, we had water coming in from under here and water also coming in from the roof. Yes, hey, that's not good. Hey, hey boys. Oh, yeah, just sitting, in, just sitting in the water. Hey, Mike, hit enter. <laughs> yeah. A leak in the main storefront area in the front, the bucket you walk by. Yeah. There's a leak in the room over here. There's two leaks in the donut room. Record breaking. Yeah, rain. The most rainfall they've had in over 25 years. Really? Uh, yeah. It came up to the door and was coming in the door right here. There was water up to here, up to the doors, all the way up to the top of the hill. That's how deep it was. To the dirt of the wall and all the way to the tire stops wood barrier. That was the highest at one point. Then we got pumps because we came here and I saw it was like, like we gotta go get pumps yeah. right away. We got one little pump and then a second pump. And once we got the second pump working, yeah. that one down really. That one's true. Uh, 9,000 gallons an hour would move. They're gonna knock this fence down, yeah. build a fence around this, yeah. block it off, and it picks up from the backside. Oh, so they really? Won't be in our lot. Hey, that's cool. I had three guys from the city come here when it was like complete storm. They, they came ripping over here and they were like, we gotta get in the back lot. They were gonna cut the fence bolts, they thought, to get in here. And we were like, well, it's electric, it's electric. you don't need to cut anything, <laughs> for real. It, there was like a major panic attack. And smell. did you see the road? The road's so close. Did you come that way or did you come this way? This way. Oh, let's jump in the Hummer. You wanna go see something crazy? Yeah. Let's go for a little drive. So yeah, this, this is what I was talking about. Look at All right, this is our road. 
road closed. We're not supposed to come in here. and the about sinkholes right now. Yeah. That's why he's replacing our sewer. You got a pump right here. They're pumping it out. I collapsed to the K-rail. There must be a sinkhole yeah, right there. Maybe, yeah. Holy wow. forward. Wow. We yelled out for a minute, but yeah. it's internet. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. that, that is literally like our building's right over here. Yeah. So this is what's going on from all of the damage from the water and that storm. And this is one section and it's over there as well. They, they blocked off another section of the block over there. But look at that, it's all caved in. So this is where the closure is. And by the way, look at how much worse the road is. Like all over the place, there's chunks missing out of the road. So driving the supercars around here, you have to be really careful. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually, I'm not going to lie, that was, that was pretty, tight. That, that was, was really exciting. Tight. And here's the shop right here. And we have someone pulling up, take a photo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> private property, yell at him. This is private property! <laughs> How you doing? You guys in Florida? Oh, really? Brazil. Brazil? That's a long drive. Wow. You going to take a photo at the sun? Let's, let's do it. He's like, what the hell? Oh my god. Hello. Dude, Brazil, what's up? Damon. What's up, Damon? How you doing? Great. My Hello, Barbara. Barbara. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. It just I take it this is a rental, you didn't really yeah. drive oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a long drive. Yeah. <laughs> you could drive it though, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, can. Right? Sketchy areas along the way. Yeah. You got that for insurance? Yes. Hey, let's bring it in the back. Roll this right into the block. <laughs> let's send it. How much tire you got left on this thing? Oh yeah. It's oh, you got lots. Rental company won't. Won't even, they won't even know. You can do a few little donuts in this thing. <laughs> and right, let me show you the rest of the property. <laughs> Hummer, man. By the way, this is Dave, hey, my Dave, business nice partner. Hey, Half thought, friend. Tomorrow we're gonna add some hydraulic fluid so we can test them, run them, and make sure they're all equalized. And then we'll add one anchor bolt uh, just to make sure nothing slides around, it's just in case someone's coming in too hot. <laughs> Perfect. And then, uh, Everybody's yeah. coming in too hot in here. <laughs> hey? Yeah, that's just normal around yeah. here. Too hot. Day three of transforming the new DDHQ. We've made a lot of progress in the last 24 hours. So let's just start from the very front of this whole building. First of all, around that corner is one of the entryways. Mark, Mark's office is actually getting organized. Whoa! Yeah. We have two whiteboards now put up on the walls. Yep. The TV's back up on the wall. Pretty clean wiring. You got a lava lamp? Very I'm clean. not gonna lie. Oh, For no. the very first time, Mark's office is actually cleaner and more organized than my office. Get used to it. Now, Dave's, <laughs> Dave's office, TV, no whiteboards because Dave doesn't know how to write and he's illiterate. Hey, nice wires, Dave. He has, he actually stole <laughs> this from the other office. I need one of those. Our little living space, if you will, for now. We still have some crap laying around or whatever, but we're gonna get the Fast and the Furious video game put back together. We got this portion of the seat and everything lined up. We have the sim over here. Thank you to Sim Coaches again for putting this together. The boys and I absolutely love this. From the drifting to the actual grip racing. We have our sectional. We have our shout out to Valencia Home Theater Seats. Through here is where possibly doing like maybe a theater room slash gym area. Cause this is a pretty big room. Now the cool thing about this room is this is part of the office space and it actually has an HVAC system. So there is AC and heating in here and in the offices. So as long as we close that off, we could technically put some type of a, you know, theater type room over here or over here, whatever we want to do with a projector up on the wall or a screen and then we could have like another section where there's an actual gym or something this is a massive room like look at the size of it this is kind of going to be like a storage room we have some massive shelves coming the transformation isn't done but this is a huge huge jump forward from where we started just a week ago in both organization what's been added here what's coming here why it's coming here like mike's whole shop that's all here because of all the cars here you can see his race cars are here his wife's car 
car. But now look at this. This room has transformed into these bend pack four post hoists where now we can put these lifts up and we can have double the amount of cars in this corner for storage. They're just so handy. They're really cool. And there's certain cars that if we're not using them all the time, it is very convenient to put the car up in the air, especially if it's something like something that's super precious to your family, like the Corvette, yeah. your wife's car. We don't want anybody when we're being heads running around here on scooters or so we don't want anything to happen to someone else's car i don't want to be liable for it yep. so that's where this comes really handy when you put the corvette up on here put it in the air and then no one can touch it or bump into it so thank you to ben pack again for sponsoring us and being a partner with us because they've done the lifts if you remember back in my house when i first moved to Kelowna, they put two of these in my home they've been amazing i love them we got these put in obviously the previous hq and now we have another four for here we didn't need any more than that because we have so much floor space but what i wanted to say is we're gonna have some cars here we'll get that set up we're gonna have shelves all in the corner to store all the parts and spare stuff and then we're just gonna leave the floor space because it's great it's easy for the yeah. cars we want exactly when we need to keep a car here like the cop car yeah it doesn't get moved every day it can sit there in the corner we need to get it out it's easy what's nico Tons doing with that what's nico doing with his life we gotta get <laughs> <laughs> what's nico doing with this we gotta get nico back here and have him do a burnout in the cop car oh yeah bloody sun's out thank god the 599s are both broken and both together <laughs> They're both broken. and we had both of them clean we had to push them both out here so. how funny is that well you broke both of them actually ironically Bro, I, you started the breakage you should beat we, the living piss out of that should thing should we start a list of like things that damon has broken no since day one <laughs> at the new hq just we'll just start listing them off and then every month we can kind of look at it and recap like well, the account, the account lost that list damon first. doesn't like that idea at what all what have i broken <laughs> oh what if we start a list of instead of days since somebody got injured days since something days got broken since Damon broke That's something. That's pretty good. <laughs> I am pretty good at breaking stuff. This is what I'm ultimately really excited about. I'm sure Mike's really excited about it. So I'm gonna have Mike talk about it because this is really Mike's home, the room in this whole building. This is Mike's home. The fab shop is next door and then everything you're doing here. And look at what we got here. Look yeah, at this. this. So right up right out of the box like a huge improvement we've got so much more space than we did at the old hq now we have three lifts where we can actually have a car up there for a few days whatever we're doing and we can bring another car in for something quick and a third car so it's not like we have to do this big juggle move all this stuff around take a car that might not have suspension on it or whatever like dead in the water this is huge we got a bunch of storage racks coming for this room also yep. all racks along here racks on 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 racks but look at this Instead of just having one two post hoist back at the old shop, yep. now we have three. That's so rad. That's so because before when we had one, then you were stuck with one yeah. and then you had none. Yeah, and not to mention that it was an absolute nightmare to put a car on it. It was a so nightmare because like of where it was positioned. Exactly, so now we've got them angled in here where we can drive in through that door, easily pull up to the rack and then back off and pull it. Straight through. Door. It's just so easy. Just take that all in, look at this. Three freaking Ben Pack two posts rocking it out right there. Boom, boom, boom. That's just a massive transformation right there. We have everything being wired up as we speak. We're also gonna just keep this space, from what I understand, completely free of like any hoists or anything like that, right? You're just gonna use this to basically put like a project such as the F12 or the Aventador or whatever we're going full any, fab on. Anything that needs a lot of fab work will kind of live here during that process. And we're gonna have some shelving over here, metal tables all the way around pack provided us as well so we'll be able to really have everything organized easy to get to another toolbox over here nice a lots of room to move around the car and then just on this side of the shop where we have all the racks any body parts any parts that we're taking off the car go onto those racks and we can label the racks so we have everything just organized it's easy to find we're not losing parts it's just nice and clean organization Tight. man yep it's also wild to look at the f12 it's got no motor in it but they put all the panels on it because we're going to use it a little later for a photo but look at this it actually looks like a car game it is been a long time since I have seen this car look like a car. Especially with like everything and the old hood on. It's pretty wild. The hood does change everything. <laughs> now, speaking of the other things Ben Pack provided for us, such as all those shelving units, they gave us swamp coolers. This is LA in the let's, summer. Let's go in and look at all this. Stuff, it's it all is right here. Crazy the amount of stuff and how big those are. Okay, let's go check it out. It's LA, it gets hot. I want the boys to stay cool, calm, and collected while they're building these epic cars for you guys and for me. 
fab room. This is massive. This is huge. We have all these machines. And the best part, they're a lot more spaced out. There's a lot more room between them. Then we come in to the DD tire shop. Now the tire shop is amazing. It's the first time we've ever had like an official tire shop. We have tons of XCOM tires. Thank you to them again for sponsoring the tires. They're sending me some more Aventador tires. Those tires, by the way, are what got us through not just all of Gumball, North America, our first Gumball, that was Toronto to Miami. Reliably, not a single problem. They also are the same tires that got us through 14 countries in Europe, in the SVJ. The XCOM tires are a really, really good performance daily tire. They've never honestly let me down. So look at all this stuff. This is all part of the unboxing we need to go through. Should we grab a knife and show these guys some of the epic stuff that's in here? It's like Christmas. This is crazy. Unbox this. So this is a massive swamp fan cooler. What that means is it's cooled by water. Water runs through it and it cools the air and then blows that air into the building. We got a swamp cooler. Oh, oh, Another one. We needed three. Here we go. It's like Christmas morning for adult men. These are called the cool boss. What's that knife? <laughs> Workbenches, like a ton of them. Boom. Cool boss. Mike's peering into this. Mike, stand next to it. Look at me. <laughs> Damon, this, no. it has a speaker no. for a stereo in it. Does it really? It has a sound system in it. What? What is it? What? What? <laughs> Yo, right here, look. Bro. That is wild. It's got Bluetooth radio look, on it. It's got power, it's got the play buttons over here. That's sick. That's crazy. Dude, you guys are gonna have so much fun in this garage building the most epic cars the internet has ever seen. That is so we got three of these. One, two, three. Now, let's open up one of these for fun. Massive, massive shop fans. 24 feet wingspan. That's one 12 foot blade. That's exactly. So two of these are going to go together. Here are the tables we have. These are amazing tables. They're just great for workbenches, storing parts on, all that sort of stuff. These are amazing. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you to the whole Ben Pack product line and all their partners. We got super hooked up. Like, look at this. There's more of them. We got some smaller ones too. Oh, yeah. Those are the fan motors right there. Yeah. So that's just the like the, motor. That's just the motor. Yeah, the motor. What's that? Damn. There's more stuff. We got more more stuff. Let's go look. How long? They're eight feet long each, so 80 feet. 80 feet of tables. <laughs> Boom. You know what's funny? We have all this stuff. We have a 30,000. Hey, Jim. Hello. We have a 30,000 square foot shop. Ah. We have all these tires, and there's five of us here. Three of the five of us don't work on cars. Think about that. Think about that. <laughs> Who again used to have, a, I heard, something like 80 employees here? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Who wants to be HR this weekend? <laughs> I'll do it. Oh. Well, this is a very cool space, and a little transformation to this room is the addition to the lights on the ceiling. What's really cool is that Hoonigan, like us, is a media company, and they were filming in here, so when they were doing their car projects and stuff like that, they wanted good lighting, they wanted good sound quality. They installed some really cool studio-style lights that do have the difference of being able to go from warm to cool, and these are the lights that I'm talking about. We finally got wired up, they had already been sitting here for whatever reason they were disconnected and the electrician came in and hooked them all up and look at the difference look at how the cars look under these lights Amazing. right there's no shadows it's evenly lit it's really really beautiful in here ultimately we're gonna have this room the middle room and the front room which will be a store eventually which we decided on a theme do we want to reveal the theme which is fine I hinted at it so they already know one of the ideas we had well I, let's just tell them we're gonna make the front room a gas station theme yeah now we got to find the right team of people to give us the render and take some of our inspiration of what we see for that and then build that out digitally, present that to us, tell us how much it's gonna be, and then we'll say, cool, we'll write the check, go to town, we'll create a storefront in the front that's all themed, and the public will have access at certain times to the storefront, to the middle room that we might do some cool stuff. We don't know exactly what yet, but maybe like a little mini arcade, maybe some crazy cards, and then we'll have the cars in here that you can see, and this will be 
closed off for obviously fabrication and all the safety reasons for liability. But yeah, you'll be able to come in here and look at the Santa, check it out, look in the windows, check out the race car, you know, all that cool stuff. The cars will be in here and publicly accessible. So these three front rooms is what we're gonna build that out for. Yep. So I hope you guys are excited. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty cool. It's amazing. We have I a mean, lot more to do. We've only been here for what? Less than two weeks now. Yes. What is left that you wanna leave them with that they should be really excited about for phase two of this transformation? Besides obviously the gas station. Paving done, yeah. some, some repairs made so the yeah. cars can go faster and wider. The K rails and then some branding, some cool artwork. So lots to come out there as well. And just really phase two of having this all set up. Oh, oh no, the tools. Oh, oh that's the yeah. We have a massive. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A big one. We have a massive, massive order coming of tools for the boys, like a big one. So stay tuned for that because once we have this all dialed in, the shelves are up, the tools are all in, you guys are gonna be shocked. It's gonna look really, really Gucci. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.